Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I want to introduce to you the Restless Off-Road Tire Swing Out. I actually went over this type of swing out in my 7 more modifications video. I think it's a really good design that keeps the spare nice and high and tight and it's extremely functional as a swing out. If you're into welding or you have a local fab shop, this is basically how it attaches up to the frame or uh, if you're local to close to Whittier, California, just hit up Restless Off Road and have them give you a quote. It's very reasonably priced. I recommend reaching out to them on Instagram to see if they can give you some pricing information or something like that. And that's how it locks in. And I have been really excited to work with this new swing out. I wasn't really happy with the one I had before that was hitch mounted. Wanted something that fitted up nice and close to the rear tailgate and that looks like a proper 4x4 tire carrier. Here you see the guys at Restless Off-Road put a pushing touch onto the swing out, which is their logo. I'm gonna get into the rear bumper cut in a sec, but first I wanna show you these uh, new GX series headlights and high beam bulbs from Oxbeam. I've just figured that since I got the new headlight housings from USR Auto, I might as well upgrade my current lighting setup, which is like an off-brand uh, LED and the factory high beam bulb to a more premium setup like this one from Oxbeam. You can see just how much brighter it is. So here I'm just installing the light bulbs themselves and you can see I mounted the boxes for the headlights here and here. They come with a nice double-sided tape and it mounts up pretty securely so you don't have to worry about it. And here's the difference between a standard aftermarket setup and the GX series from Oxbeam. They're way nicer. All right guys, today we're going to be cutting the bottom of the bumper which as you can see really needs to be cut off so that we can get some more uh maybe not too much more departure angle but at least we can look like we have more departure angle let's get into it for this job i used a kind of knockoff dremel set and it was adequate but maybe you might want to use like an angle grinder or something a little more heavy duty but this was nice for some fine adjustments uh, i had my dad helping me today uh, to start out we just got some blue painters tape and marked out above the line where we wanted to cut, just so the blade would be uh, not prevented, but maybe disincentivized from cutting too high uh, above where I wanted. And just a quick note, eye protection is a requirement for this job. I had plastic splashing back in my face pretty much the whole time, so definitely don't wanna get that stuff in your eyes. So it's not really optional in my opinion for this. Just follow the tape line. Uh, really just get a, you'll start getting a feel for it after the first couple uh, inches of cutting, and you just kind of follow that template around the whole way until you get to the other side. Now I chose this height because the mud guard, it kind of attaches right there in the wheel well there's a clip there that holds the the fender liner in so i don't really want the fender liner flapping around and i don't really want to cut it too much just because it'll make it more difficult to clean later so that's why i chose this height and here you see me just having a little bit of extra time where the hitch goes in that's because there's some extra plastic that attaches at a 90 degree angle in there so it takes a little bit extra to cut it out and that's it. It came uh, right out pretty easily. Now I'm gonna get uh, these tabs out of there and that's just a 10 millimeter. Thank you, Toyota Lexus, that's super nice. And then I'm just gonna bash those tabs in with a hammer so that they're not visible from the outside. And that was really easy as you can see. I'm doing it one-handed while filming it so uh, it should be no problem for you to get those uh, bent up. Now I have my Dremel and I actually have a sanding tool from that I'm gonna go under it uh, with that just to smooth everything out and it, it felt really nice after that uh, i'm going to definitely get some edge trim material on this eventually but for now i think it looks pretty nice i definitely started hitting the bottom of the rear bumper on rocks and stuff so doing this cut was pretty much way overdue for me especially because my rear bumper sucks due to a slight accident by the previous owner uh, that got rear-ended which also causes my exhaust pipe to sag just a little bit which i need to fix as well overall i definitely think this job is worth it especially just because it makes it look so much more aggressive without that valence hanging down low and it also makes room for some 
35 inch tires that will be coming soon. But here is how it looks out on the trail. As you can see, the combination of the restless off-road tire swing out and the cut bumper looks really nice and aggressive. If you have a GX with nav, restless will relocate your camera, but I have a non-nav with an aftermarket backup camera setup. So what I'm doing now is basically just relocating the camera uh, to a place that isn't gonna be covered up by the spare. So what I'm gonna do is just mount it right there on the license plate, feed the wiring back through there, and unfortunately I had to take out the uh, inside of the rear tailgate again, which uh, is always fun. And then just making sure that everything goes in properly, is dust proof, and that it's going to work for the long term. Because I definitely don't want to be taking out that tailgate liner too many times. Uh, here you could just see me connecting up power and the RCA cable. And I also had to connect the red convenience wire to the power uh, from the backup lights, which actually triggers the head unit to show the backup camera. And then there you see it's mounted up there. It's nice and tucked up. I get a little bit of spare tire in the picture, so I'm definitely gonna move it over to the right a little bit more, but that should be no problem. And I'll just be zip tying this wire out of the way, which is also no problem. This is just kind of a test run. You can see the wire runs in from the door right there. It doesn't get pinched in the tailgate or anything and it goes straight in through that grommet there into the back of the tailgate there. And the wire goes nicely along that swing out arm. And I just left enough slack so that it can open and close without getting pulled or pinched in any weird way. And it looks pretty clean. And this is what I see when I engage the reverse lights. Just shows back there and you can see the spare tire again. I can move that over, no problem. And that's how it looks with my aftermarket camera setup. Really stoked. This whole project of trying to find a proper place to mount my spare tire turned out. The whole thing didn't end up being as expensive as I expected and I'm just uh, really excited to get wheeling and stuff. This really allows me extra room to mount up a 35 inch spare as well and a really strong solution that I won't have to worry about for the long term. It's also a really solid base to have Restless fab up some mounts and brackets for fuel carriers or high lift jacks and things like that in the future. So we'll see how it ends up, but that's how it looks for now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next one.